State investigators are working to get answers about two deadly shootings involving police officers in North Alabama. One took place in Cherokee. The second happened in Huntsville. Both happened early Saturday. Way 31's Xavier Wary joins us live. And Xavier, you spoke to uh, the president of the Alabama Fraternal Order of Police. What did he have to say? Yeah, you know, Dan, it is important to note that since both of those shootings are still under investigation, Everett Johnson and myself, we did not get into any of the specifics of those cases that happened over the weekend. But Johnson tells me that there is a widespread attack on police officers, and he says that those numbers have actually increased drastically. Of January 2023, it is up 121% compared to January 2022. So uh, we, we, we continue to see an attack on law enforcement and an, an increase of disrespect for the rule of law. Johnson went on to state he believes society in many ways has dehumanized and vilified law enforcement, reiterating the dangers of their job. Johnson wants people to know the duty of a law enforcement officer is life threatening and they are out here to protect the public. When people do not respect the rule of law, then that officer has to do what he has to do. They're not getting up in the morning and, and, and deciding for that day, I'm just going to go out and shoot somebody. No, they're out here to, to provide a service, and they're out here to uh, ensure that our, our communities are safe. And in doing so, sometimes use of force has to be applied. Again, there are still plenty of details that need to be released in regards to the officer-involved shootings over the weekend. We do know Aaliyah identified Jason Harbin as the individual who died in Cherokee this past Saturday. The Cherokee Police Department says they, alongside the Colbert County Sheriff's Office, were responding to a welfare check for a person being held against their will. And 49-year-old Christopher Osborne was killed after Huntsville Police responded to a domestic violence call midnight Saturday. Police say they were quote, attempting to make contact with an armed individual, and that person was shot and killed. Now, you know, it is standard procedure for these police officers, once they are involved in an officer shooting, to be on paid administrative leave. And coming up on Way 31 News at 5, we're going to learn a little bit more about what that means and what that investigation actually looks like. But for now, I am reporting live in Huntsville, Xavier Wary, Way 31 News.